It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to stand before you this evening to share with you my journey to and through Piedmont Technical College over the past two years. First, I would like to thank God for this day and the days preceding this event. Never would I have made it without him. First, I'll tell you a little about myself. I was born and raised in Albany, New York, the middle child of seven and the only girl. With three older brothers and rather overly protective parents, it was sometimes challenging to exert my own independence. Over time, I became frustrated with not being able to make my own decisions. So, after a particularly memorable conversation with my mother, I resigned myself to prove to my parents I could, in fact, make it on my own. I went to the local recruiting office and, and enlisted in the United States Army, an adventure and a growth experience with la which lasted for over 10 years. My first exposure to the South was at Fort Jackson and Fort Gordon, and I also served at Fort Hood in Texas in the military intelligence. I was stationed in Germany for almost three years until my discharge. After living in Florida for five years, I decided to move back to Albany where I worked in the Albany City School District for 20 years. My Piedmont Tech journey started with the relocation from Albany, New York to Greenwood, South Carolina in August of 2012. The reason for my move was twofold. One, to be near my aging mother who had moved here in the early 80s and the, and the other was to have my then 16-year-old daughter in a slower paced environment. I anticipated being able to find a job soon after arriving. However, this did not happen. I searched for over a year for suitable employment without success. I was discouraged and began to rethink my decision for moving. I possessed all the qualities that most employers would love to have, or so I thought. There was one thing missing from my resume that I noticed most employers were looking for and that was some credential of some sort. Although I had developed many skills during my years in, in Albany and had many years of experience, it was just not enough. In a year's time, I had two interviews that I know I aced, yet the most, like most, I received the dreaded rejection letter. I was facing financial woes and I had a challenging relationship with my teenage daughter and trying to look after my mother. I had a lot on my shoulders. How was I going to manage? This was a daily question. But I never gave up. I knew there was assistance available for me because of my Army service. I reached out to a local rep at the local South Carolina Works office, and he informed me of a program called VRAP. This program allowed veterans to go to school and receive a stipend. Wow, was my initial response. This could be the answer to some of my financial woes, but was I ready to attend college at my age? Would I be able to sustain the rigors of studying and everything else it would require of me? I thought about it for a week or so and then decided to see what it would take for me to get into school. The moment I walked in, into the admissions office at Piedmont Technical College, I felt at ease and my apprehension subsided. After completing the initial process, the commitment was becoming a reality. But I was still questioning myself. Could I manage with the mounting problems I was having with my daughter? Could I manage with my mother's recent, recent surgery and her recovery? I had all of this to consider. Could I manage? The questions loomed and I prayed about it continuously. My decision to attend was answered by my acceptance of my financial aid. I was going to take this step and pray for the best. My major would be computer technology, something I was familiar with with my work experience and my military background. I started school in the late term of 2013. This meant I would have accelerated classes. I looked around my classes for others like me. There may have been one older saint in the class or two, 
but most of the classes consisted of young people fresh out of high school. How is this going to work? I attached myself to a few of those youngsters in case I needed their young minds to help me, and I became a sounding board for some of them. I spent many moments convincing those young minds that they shouldn't quit, and this part of their lives was important to their future. Keep pressing on, I would often tell them. Don't quit. I know there are a few of those younger souls in this graduating class tonight, and I say to you, congratulations, you made it. Frankly, there were many moments when I had to remind myself of those same words, especially when the bills came due. The VRAP program ended March of 2014. Gone was the stipend that was helping me to sustain myself in my household. I could have quit like some of the other veterans who started school along with me, but I decided to stick it out. Even with this di financial downfall, I managed to make it month by month. I haven't missed a bill yet. This was my faith at work. I am sure of it. I was facing some trying times, but I stuck it out and I made it through. I had some honors along this journey that kept me from giving up. I was selected to be a presidential ambassador. I was selected to be a high-tech scholar participant. I was elected as the president of Phi Beta Lambda and accepted in the Phi Theta Kappa Society. I have received honors for making the dean's list and the president's list. I was also a grateful recipient of a foundation scholarship from the county bank. All of these honors kept me moving forward. I was determined to finish. I was and still am very proud of myself. To my fellow graduates, I'm here to tell you that whatever path you have chosen to take in life, don't quit. Keep moving forward. If the path is one that you know will lead you to what you've planned as your ultimate goal, even if you run into obstacles along the way, keep your eyes on the prize. Don't quit. Keep moving forward. Remember, you've worked hard to get to this day. Don't quit, keep moving forward. And for anyone who may be thinking about going to school, make it happen. It could change your life. I would like to thank all of the people and my friends who offered me encouragement throughout this journey and offered a shoulder to lean on or a cry on. First, my mother and family members. Thank all of you, especially mom, for understanding when I couldn't come over and spend time because I was inundated with homework. To David Rosenbaum and Christina Knight for seeing something special enough in me to consider me for your programs. Excuse me. To the staff of Student Support Services who always made themselves available to me you offered me hope many days when I was ready to give up. And to all of my instructors who helped me to guide, who helped to guide me through lessons and helped me to understand what I was missing. It means a lot to, to a student when an instructor takes the time to show you rather than to dismiss or ignore. Last but certainly not least, my special guide, my fiance, Willie James Corbett, who pressed too hard at times, always ensuring my assignments were done before we could even go out on a date. <laughs> he called me every morning to make sure I was getting up and getting ready for school, and I sure do love him for that. Thank God I made it to this day. Never would I made it without you. Now, a new chapter begins. I must find employment. And I am sure I will because not only do I have the experience, I have the degree. Anyone looking for a great employment, an employee, see me after the ceremony. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. 
Best of luck to everyone, and again, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to share my journey.